Welcome back to Sudan Gaming Channel. This is a channel specializing in instructions on how to build characters, playing styles as well as instructions on all types of games. If you are a Vietnamese, please visit the link in the description to go to the 100% Vietnamese Sudan Gaming VN channel made by myself. Thanks for your support. Dual swords, dual sabers, and dual halberds are always the weapons chosen by many gamers because of their flexible combat capabilities. In the DLC 3 version, the publisher has added a new Grace Tais Grace specifically for this weapon. In this video, I will introduce to you a build that specializes in spirit damage, mainly using the dual swords, dual sabers, and dual halberds weapons. For this build, I use 5 pieces of Tais Grace and 1 piece of set bonus requirement mitigation. The best combination is with a Grace of Ling Baotians on the pure 1 piece. However, because the limitation of this build is that you must use it for both main weapon slots, dual swords, dual sabers, or dual halberds, so you almost have to own a weapon with the above mentioned graces to promote efficiency. To make it easier to find equipment, you can use a piece of the twin swords of Ingenuity set from the dual sword weapon in this bonus set. This decision depends on the amount of equipment you currently own. And now we will start explain the build. Before starting, I would like to note that this build requires a high level of technique and observation skills. I'm not good at this. So in this video clip, I can only show the full power of this build sometimes. Please understand and do not judge this build as not strong just by looking at the video. I hope you will watch the entire content of the video to fully understand this build. First let's look at the second effect of Tai's Grace helps us receive the power gain buff immediately after using Fatal Strike, helping us increase damage. The third effect of Tai's Grace helps us receive the Ice Enchant spell, the weapon will be imbued by water magic immediately after performing a fatal strike. This helps us deal more ice damage to enemies. The fourth effect of Tai's Grace increases damage to spirits based on the equipment's carrying capacity. This means, the lower your load, the higher your spirit damage will be. The fifth effect of Tai's Grace is Tai's primordial principle. To activate this effect, you need to follow conditions. Each primary weapon slot must be equipped with a dual swords, dual sabers, or dual halberds. The equipment's carrying weight must be less than 30%, reach agility A. Tai's primordial principle effect only appears immediately after performing fatal strike. After meeting the above conditions, you will receive Tai's primordial principle effect. And if you successfully dodge the attack as soon as the boss attacks you, you will receive Tai's Primordial Principle Heavenly Effect. This effect will help you increase 3 multiply both HP damage and spirit damage. However, for take advantage of this effect, you need to be quick make the boss lose all spirit to perform a fatal strike before the effect end. In short, the fifth effect of Tai's Grace is an extremely powerful effect, but also requires many conditions to activate. If you can master these conditions, you will be able to effectively utilize this effect to deal huge amounts of damage to the enemy. As for weapons, it will depend on the amount of equipment you own. In this video, because most of the equipment I use is heavy armor, the main weapon will be dual sabers, specifically mounted bandit scimitars. The reason is because equipping heavy armor requires raising earth points to reduce weight below 30%, reaching agility to activate Tai's primordial principle effect. Mounted Bandit Scimitars have an Earth Scale that will help increase attack stats. Second, the Water Scale will help increase water magic damage from the third effect of Tai's Grace. The third scale is the Wood Bridge UA, increasing the Wood stat will help us extend the duration of positive buff, specifically here, Tai's Primordial Principle Heavenly. The martial arts used in this build are, Beckoning Pine, Bamboo Server, in twinded blades. The playstyle of this build is as follows. Just fight as usual, try to make the boss run out of spirit as quickly as possible. After using the fatal strike, be sure to time the boss's attack correctly and dodge the attack. You will have Tai's primordial principle heavenly effect. Next, try to make the boss run out of spirit as quickly as possible before Tai's primordial principle heavenly effect ends. At this time, the fatal strike will cause huge damage. Now, we will move on to the showcase so you can better understand how this build works. Don't miss the important part, 
instructions on how to raise stats and choose effects on equipment, later in the video. Good today! Stronger than I expected. It's just the beginning. This is... just yet. Next is the instructions for raising stat point. Earth points, the weight of the equipment is the most important factor in determining the amount of earth points to raise. You need to increase your earth points until you ensure the carrying index is below 30%. This will help you reach agility A, activate Tai's primordial principle effect, and will also help you increase the weapon's attack. Water points The main purpose of water points is to increase weapon attack and increase water magic damage of the third effect Tai's grace. Wood points, put all the remaining points into the wood virtue. In addition to increasing weapon attack, this effect also helps you extend the duration of positive buff, specifically prolonging Tai's primordial principle heavenly effect. Fire points, the main reason for raising this stat is to reduce the amount of spirit consumed when using martial arts. In case you use the fire magic skill devouring flame, you should raise it to at least 40 points. Metal points, you can raise up to 30 points, this is the optimal level to take advantage of the spirit reduction effect when using magic skills. However, if you want, you can not increase points in this point. For apex level points put everything into the attack power bonus to increase the damage of this build. Next is choosing the stratagem to use. For this build, the composed enrichment stratagem is most suitable. This stratagem has effects that extend the duration of positive buff, including Tai's primordial principle heavenly effects. However, the side effect of this stratagem is a reduction in morale rank. However, and it is not necessary that you must have to equip this stratagem. Instead, prioritize choosing stratagems with premium effects like spirit damage, or marital art spirit damage which is best. Next is the important part, choosing the effect on the equipment. With main weapon, three lines of premium effects I choose as follows. Spirit damage, increases spirit damage including normal attacks, martial arts use and deflect. Positive effect duration, Extend the duration of positive buff specific Lydai's primordial principle heavenly. Melee attack power, 
increases weapon attack power, and spirit attack, normal attack. Second main weapon and second ranged weapon, you can use it as you like, as long as you make sure you have enough pieces of equipment to ice grace for this build. Main ranged weapon, I prioritize using ice attack power to increase the water damage of the third effect to ice grace. With my helmet, I use the damage amplification debuff effect after performing fall to strike, this effect causes the monster to receive more damage but also increases the monster's attack power. For armor, in the premium effect slot we should choose the extend spirit disruption duration effect to extend the duration time when the boss in winded. This gives us enough time to apply two buffs or amplify damage and focus zone. These two buffs will increase the HP damage about 50% when you perform fatal strike. For the arms, we will choose the damage reduction buff effect when successfully deflecting the boss's red skill. This effect helps us increase our defense to become more tanky. For legs, you can choose damage received, reducing incoming damage helps us become more resilient. For accessories focus on the attack power effect. If you don't have it, you can prioritize using effects related to spirit damage. For Divine Beast selection, Felion is probably the best choice for this build because Spirit Damage Effect increases spirit damage, helping to make the boss quickly fall into winded. HP restoration from melee attack helps increase self-healing ability when dealing damage. Finally, there is the selection of spells to use. Focus Zone is a great spell for this build. This spell creates an area around a character increasing the damage of all attacks in that area. This is especially useful for Fatal Strike. Amplify Damage is also a good choice for this build. This spell increases the damage of all attacks, including Fatal Strikes. However, note that this effect also takes extra damage from monsters, so it needs to be used wisely. Lightning Fulmination and Water Gods Blink, used to combine attacks and create continuous combo chains, increasing our damage to monsters. Ice Weapon This spell creates a ice magic on the weapon, increasing the water magic damage of attacks. The video ends here. I am Sudan Gaming. If you find this video useful and interesting, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel to support me and help me be motivated to create better videos. Wishing you all soon complete the Wolong game. Bye bye and see you in the next video.